Hey guys, so for today's video I am going to be filming a summer makeup look. It's been a long time since I've last uploaded a video, but I'm going to focus on my YouTube channel a lot more. I have nothing else to do besides get a job and get my driver's license. I'm done with high school, but I thought I would come back with a makeup tutorial for you guys, but this is basically just a summer makeup tutorial. This is basically mostly like creamy lips just because I don't like wearing matte lipstick, a lot of highlighter, I'm not wearing any foundation, just concealer. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I'm going to be taking Mario, I don't know how to say it, excuse me if I say it wrong, the Bad SQ facial spray with olive era herbs and rose water. But I'm going to be taking this and just spraying all over my face. So for this whole entire eye makeup look, I'm going to be using the Cara ES04 35 color eyeshadow palette. This palette kind of reminds me of like a Morphe palette, but for a transition shade, I'm going to be using this color right here. I'm going to be using a Wet n Wild blending brush, and I'm just going to take that into my crease. And then I'm going to be taking this light brown and just placing that everywhere that I just placed. Next, I'm going to be using an Equal Tools Brending Blush. This one's a lot more harsh, but not as harsh. It's still soft. I'm going to be taking this one very lightly into the outer corner of my crease. This one's just going to help to darken up the eyeshadow look a little bit, but not too much. For my lid, I'm going to be using the Shimmery Light Pink Color. I'm going to be using a flat brush. But first, I'm going to apply some Skin Dew Hydrating Scents Mist and Setting Spray. This is just going to help to bring the eyeshadow um, come out better. I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid. Back in with this brush and grab that light eyeshadow again and just kind of blend it on the top. This is basically just going to help to get rid of any harsh lines. I'm going to go back in with this dark brown eyeshadow and I'm going to deepen up the corner again and kind of get rid of any harsh line. Sorry I had to do a voiceover now but I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color porcelain and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes and blend it out with my beauty blender and then apply it to the main points of my face that I want to conceal. During the summertime I don't like to wear a lot of foundation or any foundation at all so I just use concealer. And then on top of the LA Girl concealer, I used a Maybelline concealer and I basically just applied that on top because the concealer was way too light so I tried to darken it with that concealer. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. My camera died but um, I pretty much basically just finished baking and then I contoured. So I'm going to be using this blush and I'm going to be using Elizabeth Mote, Mott, however you pronounce that. Show me your cheeks blush in the shade peach pink and I'm just going to be taking Coastal Essence uh, brush and I just use this for blush. I'm going to be placing that gently on my cheeks. Next I'm going to do mascara but first I'm going to curl my eyelashes. So the first mascara I'm going to be using is the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. I'll be applying this to my eyes. For the next mascara, I'm going to be using Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara. I'm just going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to move on to highlight, and I'm going to be using Anastasia's Glow Kit, that glow, and I'm going to be taking Sunburst and Dripping in Gold. Highlight the main points of my face. Next, I'm going to be taking ColourPop's Super Shock Cheek and Stole the Show. I'm using this one just because like it brings out the Anastasia one a lot more. Last but not least, I'm going to be taking my Dewy Skin Spray again and spraying my um, fan brush. I'm going to be taking this highlighter I got in a sample. Urban Decay highlighter, I don't remember which one it is. But I love, love, love using this one on top of every other highlighter. I'm going to try out these Tarte High Performance Natural Cruelty Free Eyelashes. I've been wanting to try this one and I got this at Ulta. It'll be my first time trying these. These are also cruelty free, which is awesome. But I'm going to just be taking these and these are in the style center of attention. That's what these look like. I'm going to be using my Kiss Eyelash Adhesive Glue. I definitely need to go buy another one because I'm running out. I'm just going to be taking this glue, which is my favorite. My friend Yasmin recommended this for me. So shout out to you, Yasmin, if you're watching this. I'm going to be taking the eyelashes and waiting for the glue to get tacky. I suck at applying eyelashes on camera, so I'm going to try my best. But yeah. For the summertime, I like sticking with glosses or creamy lipsticks. So for today, I'm going to be using Too Faced's lipstick in the shade Sugar Daddy. To finish this up, I'm going to be using the setting mist. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for videos. I know I haven't uploaded in a long time. I'm going to try and change that and start uploading a lot more. And also follow me on my social medias like Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. And on the bottom, they're always on the down bar for you guys. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.